Okay. Perfect. Okay. There we are. Uh, hello, We're everyone. Again, my name is Franto Mazetovic, and I'm a postdoc on University of Zadar, PhD thesis, which I successfully defended in July. Uh, this presentation is about optimization of terrestrial laser scanning surveys over heavily gullet affected areas. First of all, I will start just with few notes about the uh, soil erosion and gully erosion in uh, basics. Soil erosion is a global threat that causes gradual soil degradation and removal, and it can has many different processes which are part of soil erosion. Gully erosion represents the most intensive type of soil erosion. The, the uh, Food and Agriculture Organization of the Nation latest challenge for sustainable soil management. So the research of soil erosion dynamics is really crucial for prevention of various negative effects of this process. Uh, these technologies, but terrestrial laser scanning represents a state-of-the-art topographic modeling techniques, which allows highly accurate detection and quantification of spatial temporal changes induced by soil erosion. A second. Okay. However, terrestrial laser scanning has some limitation uh, when it's applied on scanning of gullet uh, topography. First of all, pronounced terrain roughness and complex surface topography can lead to some challenges in topographic uh, laser scanning and preparation phases of uh, laser scanning surveys are uh, often uh, done on site without any uh, planning or uh, in the software before. So this non-systematic TLS survey approach can lead to obstructed areas and to introduction of errors in model quality after the uh, creation of point clouds and models from the collected scans. Because of that study, of, main study objective of this study was the development of new systematic survey methodology, which could be used for optimization of the rest laser scanning surveys over gully erosion affected areas. These uh, guidelines could be used for this research, but also for different simulation and monitoring of gully erosion induced special temporal changes. Special emphasis was given to these phases of TLS surveys, planning, preparation, and implementation of TLS surveys, which had to be accurate and repeatable in order to create models which can be then used for detection of spatial temporal changes. The study area covers uh, Gali Santish, which is located on the Pag Island, Croatia. The whole island is known uh, about really intensive soil erosion uh, and many active gullies. Uh, this gully was chosen because it has recent traces of intense gully erosion. And you can see on this right side, the location of the gully itself and its morphology. It begins with a really steep head cut and the main channel, which is about 80 meters long. I will just try to show the 3D model of this gully. Unfortunately, due to Sketchfab, the quality of this model has, but you can see the extent and the morphology of the study from the main head cut, main channel, the terminal beach, and the Adriatic Sea. So this is around 1,000 square meters. Uh, developed methodology uh, included four main steps. The first one was survey planning phase. Second one was field preparation, or let's say creation of local coordinate system. Then the third phase was multi-temporal field TLS surveys, which were uh, conduct periodically on, on the test side. And the fourth step was creation and validation of GALI models. Uh, of course, the survey characteristics and the developed methodology had to be adjusted to the specifications of the terrestrial laser scanner, which was available uh, to us. That was part of Focus M70 laser scanning. Uh, laser scanning. 
the first phase includes survey planning phase, which could be divided to three main steps. Definition of the study the extent, which was defined by the extent of the gully slantish itself, or let's say our study area, the total number of hands, which uh, had to be adjusted to the available survey time. Since the survey was conducted in December 2019, so during the winter, we had uh, Five hours and of available beginning time. Can I stop you so for one second? Only. To the total number of laser scans to eight scans, uh, where a scan was half hour. I just would like to suggest to switch off your video because we cannot he really hear properly. It's He's gone. Okay. Do you hear me now? And sorry for the technical complications. I can hear you. Hello, do you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Sorry for the complications, I will continue then. Okay, okay so the, the uh, hardest part of the survey plan phase was the uh, <laughs> uh, way how to find the positions for the scanner in between the R study area. So in order to find the correct placements uh, positions for the placement of the TLS uh, scanner, we use the Resolution digital elevation model of the whole study air flow matrix 600 drone. And this uh, models for the visibility analysis where we checked more than 100 passenger scanner and we calculate the coverage of the whole study area for every location. And that uh, in that, that way, we uh, define the eight best possible uh, locations for the scanning of the whole study area morphology of the study at Gali. With these eight uh, locations, we achieved 96% of the study area uh, coverage uh, and around 1,100 kilometers were covered in total. Also, the high percentage of scans overlaps was present within the whole study area, which will result with a high plus conductor the field work before the actual scanning. The second uh, step was field preparations, which included the creation of local coordinate system. So on these pictures, you can see the sets <laughs> of creations uh, targets for, for uh, the laser scanner. Uh, these were uh, constructed within the limestone, so the permanent rock, which is not affected directly by the soil erosion. So these positions will be unchanged during the whole five-year uh, survey period. And these uh, positions were used for the placement of uh, spheres or let's say reference markers, which were placed on this uh, uh, steel poles. Uh, 2.10 meters, so that these spheres are visible from all surveys. The initial uh, TLS survey was carried out on uh, <laughs> December 17, 
19. And the second TLS survey was carried one year later on December 4, 2010. They put, uh, both of these surveys use identical. Uh, as a result, uh, collected scans, eight uh, collected scans were processed in far seen uh, software and registered scans resulted with the creation of point cloud with more than uh, 360 million points. Uh, from which around 130 uh, million points were within the study area or let's say within Gali uh, Sandish itself. Uh, in terms of achieved coverage, uh, we uh, managed to achieve almost the full planned coverage of the study area, with the exception of these small obstructed areas which were present uh, within the most uh, difficult topography to scan. So let's say these micro channels with or some obstructed parts of the uh, head cut, like the overhangs and so on. So at the end, 4.5% of the whole study area was covered by carried TLS survey, and it managed to be covered by the laser scans. Only 35 uh, square meters of the study area, or 3%, uh, this on created models. Uh, upper uh, figure is showing the uh, really uh, narrow and steep uh, micro channel within the main channel of the Gali Santish, which was not. Oh. I'm hoping that you can hear me now again because I'm again having some technical issues. Okay, so on the lower figure, you can see the one part of head cut from Gali Santish, which really well represented in the created models of uh, Created point cloud in far scene where you can see the obstructed areas are really small and that they are located within the most uh, difficult topography. Uh, so the, the potential causes for coverage deviation, we plan to uh, co cover the 96.9% of the Gali Santish. Achieved coverage is 94.5%, which is slightly less. And this can be related to several causes. First cause is probably errors in very high resolution digital relation also didn't manage to represent all the head cut, or hangs, narrow channels, vegetated areas, and so on. And also second problem could be potential very small deviation in positioning of TLS because it was not always possible to position TLS on the location that was Planned, uh, mainly because of rough terrain. The third problem could be related to potential small deviation in created permanent. And probably the most important one are the spatial temporal changes that have occurred between the time of creation of very high resolution digital elevation model, which was used for the visibility analysis, and the time of first initial laser uh, scanning. To conclude, uh, developed systematic survey methodology for optimization of terrestrial laser scanning uh, surveys managed to cover most of the difficult and rough terrain of Gali Santish and it achieving over the Gali terrain. Around 90% or 95% of complex terrain of chosen study area was successfully scanned and created permanent local coordinate system is basis for all future uh, TLS surveys, which will be conducted within this uh, uh, study area. We are planning to continue this survey within the next five year uh, frame so that we can calculate the soil erosion rates on the five year uh, and guidelines could be potentially used for scanning of other similar complex geomorphological features uh, beside Gallis 
which also have a rough uh, surface topography and which are also problematic for uh, non-systematic uh, laser uh, scanning. Thank you for your 